Hello and welcome to Classic Football Shirts. I'm showing you some of the finest pieces from our museum archive collection and telling you the stories behind them. Today I'm showing you Juve shirts with Sony sponsors, Atletico Madrid home shirts from the mid 90s won by Simeone and Christian Vieri and Nigeria shirts with 1994 World Cup style. It's nearly 25 years since that first Juventus Kappa Sony home shirt, one of the most iconic and loved shirts ever. But do you know how many variations of it there were? Let me explain. The first ever time Juve wore shirts with Sony on them was in their traditional annual friendly against Valle di Aosta. But here, as in all of their six pre-season friendly matches this year, it was Minidisc that was the headline of the sponsor, with Sony beneath in small attack. In Serie A and Coppa Italia matches in 95-96, the home shirt was always worn with a large size Sony sponsor, and then player name and number on the back. This was the first season that the Italian FA allowed player names to be worn, and it's all beautifully screen printed. Mmm, Viali. Now in the Champions League, again no mini disc, but a slightly smaller size Sony sponsor than was worn domestically this year. Champions League star ball is beautifully embroidered, as are the Coppa Italia and Scudetto shields on the player shirt. Only numbers were worn on the back of the shirts in this competition, and so there's no break in the stripes to allow the player name to be added. So into 96-97 now, the first thing you'll notice is Gona, the Coppa Italian Scudetto Shields as Juve didn't win those competitions in 95-96. This is the shirt worn in the first half of the domestic campaign this season. It has a large size Sony sponsor and a Kappa logo with the text underneath. A Lega Calcio sleeve patch was introduced for the first time this season too. At last, the mini disc is back. Shirt with a small size Sony Mini Disc sponsor was worn throughout the Champions League campaign of 96 97. Player names were added this season too, although they were plastic transfers, unlike those screen printed domestic shirts of 95 96. Also, the Kappa logo on the chest is without the text. The key difference between the composition of the 95 96 and 96 97 shirts is the texture of the material, which is more coarse on the 95 shirt and more smooth and ventilated on the 96. So there you have it. Now, which do you prefer, 95 or 96? Sony or Sony Mini Disc? Ooh. In 1996, Atletico Madrid were reigning La Liga champions with Diego Simeone, the midfield enforcer. The following year, they signed Christian Vieri and wore Puma shirts for the last time. Let's have a look at two shirts that both of them wore. Atleti had won La Liga wearing this shirt and had made it a Copa del Rey double in 95-96 wearing this. For 96-97, club chairman and mayor of Marbella, Jesus Gill, allowed Japanese video game and toy maker Bandai to put their logo on the shirts in place of the promotion for his city. And for the derby at the Bernabeu, it was even worn with the logo for one of the crazes of the mid-90s the Tamagotchi. The side competed in the Champions League for the first time this season, and the shirts worn in it were totally stripped back, with the image of the Vicente Calderon and all the other text and logos from the material and sleeves removed. This shirt was worn by the man himself, Diego Pablo Simeone, in the quarter-final against Ajax. The name set, and even the Champions League star ball, a screen printed. The Marbella sponsor returned for 97-98 when the club splashed the cash on Christian Bobo Vieri and Middlesbrough's Brazilian maestro Janinho. Bobo loved Janinho so much he even wore one of his shirts underneath his and scored an outrageous 24 goals in 24 games in La Liga while also firing Atleti to the semi-finals of the UEFA Cup. This shirt was worn by the Azuri striker when the side faced Lazio in the semis. In Europe, the shirt had no Puma logos on the sleeves, and this was the last year the German brand made the club shirts, ending a deal that had run since 1983. The name set is a flock material, as is the sponsor, which was a different size and style on the player's shirts compared to the replica version. So which do you prefer, 96 or 97? It's a tough one. Nigeria arrived in style at their first ever World Cup Finals wearing a bespoke set of kits incorporating a traditional Aquete cloth motif. The home shirt had the motif across the shoulders while the away shirt was covered by the pattern to stunning effect. The Super Eagles played in this phenomenal away shirt twice at USA 94, wearing it with the home shorts against Bulgaria when Yakini memorably celebrated in the back of the net before unleashing possibly the greatest shorts of all time on Greece. 
This shirt was match worn by the iconic centre back Uche Okechukwu. The printing is plastic material and heat pressed, while the badge and Adidas logo are machine stitched. The team had won the 1994 Africa Cup of Nations wearing it too, although they're with red numbers. Only the home shirt was available to buy in the shops at the time, making this away shirt the stuff of legend and fantasy. But is it the best Nigeria shirt of all time? Let me know what you think.